outside in New York. By we, I mean me. Um, been hanging around with a few people. I got into the city. We're at Book Expo day one. This is my outfit if you care. I'm wearing like cute little like green pants with a cute little top and a choker. We're just, I'm panicking. <laughs> And this always happens because anxiety. So we're panicking, but I'm with people. Well, person, person, person. So hopefully we'll live, basically. That's what I'm hoping for. Do I know what I'm doing the rest of today? No. But I got an art. I got an art. I got an art. I got an art. I'm really happy about it. I got Winterwood. This is like by the same author who wrote The Wicked Deep. So I'm really excited about this. I'm really happy I got this. I didn't know this was happening. We literally just like walked by an art shop and we're like, okay, great. Hi. Hi. Did Ed that help at all? Um, yes, we were able to find hi. booth, so hi. <laughs> <laughs> And that was also closed for construction. So I was like, okay, well then, I like, I pulled over. Hi. I pulled over and looked on my knock. I looked on my.
day, day two. Um, I'm a lot of the. They say don't meet your icons, but I met a lot of my icons, so they're all kind of sick. So that's cool. Also, I don't like arcs. Bye. <laughs> Thoughts on BEA day two? Pretty good. Don't know what happened, but pretty good. Walked around a lot. Is I just got a bunch of graphic novels and t talked to people and took photos. I got Yay. two books. I don't know what the fuck they are. It's fine. This is gave foggy. Away. <laughs> this is foggy. It's foggy. It's smoky. 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 <laughs> So I just got back, BA day two. I barely got any, like I got some books in the morning, some graphic novels, so I'll show you guys those in a bit, but I love New York City. I'm so done that I was like dancing in the elevator, like am I okay? No. I just got soaked and I was walking for a while and I kept getting lost, but we made it back to the hotel. So. I'm so annoying, sorry. Um, yeah, it was an adventurous day. I went to some bookstores with Zoe and Jordan and did BEA and all that stuff. I had this big, the big thing I had today in the morning was um, a press event with DC Comics. So that's where I got all my arcs from. I didn't walk around the show floor too much. And I when I did, it was later, so there wasn't much that I wanted. Like I wanted the root, Ruta Sepetti's arc, but like, it's fine. Anyways, I need to pee, so we're gonna do that. I'll show you what I got later. <laughs> immediately go on like chucking Hi. bad iced coffee. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Long day, okay? <laughs> 
<laughs> He's like, I like to be different. <laughs> yeah, I'm from Australia. <laughs> I, just, I just like. I get that a lot. Though people are like, are you actually Irish? I'm like, yes. <laughs> yeah. It's BA day three. I just got back to my hotel. It's at like around three o'clock or two thirty maybe. Um, yeah, I kind of <laughs> had it this morning. I went early. I had a tour scene event, and then I was running around the show hall a lot, and I got. Fuck ton of books. I met a lot of really cool people too, and I hung out with some really cool people. But I also got like a ton of books, and I got a few of them just in case. Like, um, I think some of my friends asked for them, so like I kind of was just grabbing them for them. But yeah, I have a lot of things, so that I had to stop at the hotel to drop them off. So like, I'm gonna show you like quickly some of the things I got. We'll like put you here. Watch my camera break. Okay, hi, welcome to my hall. It's so hot in new york um yeah it's hot but i got two bags full of stuff so first off i got this from fear streets i think it's called the other side it's stories of central teen refugees who dream of crossing the border they you like told them what you like and then they give you a book but like i was the last person there so they just handed me this one i was like okay i also got the new stephen chabosky book the arc of it so i got this i got the new christina lauren twice in a blue moon which i'm excited about this one i've never read any of her stuff before or their stuff because it's two people i think but yeah i also got scouts this looked really cute it's like a middle grade um middle grade like summer adventure friendships um i got this because i think i'm gonna send it to one of my friends this is sophia princess among beasts by james patterson with Emily Raymond, so I might do that. Um, this I, this is a little chapter sample of Rebel, but I think Natasha got me one already too, and she got a sign for me, which is amazing. So like, thank you to her. Um, I also got this. It's called How to Build a Heart. Yeah, to, like yesterday I didn't really get much. I just got like the DC comics and stuff, but like today was like a lot. So I also got The Magicians by Love Grossman, the graphic novel. I got um, The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. This one I'm most excited about. It's Look Both Ways, A Tale Told in Ted Blocks by Jason Reynolds. So excited for this. I'm gonna read this one probably soon, because that's awesome. Um, this is a chapter sampler for Pumpkinheads by Rima Rao, the graphic novel. What else did I get? I got Angel. Magic Mage, Angel Mage by Garth Nix. I think I might give this one to someone. I think I might give it to Zoe because I think she said she really likes this author. So like, I'll see about that. And then from the Tortine event, I got um, Deceivers. And this one says like, welcome to Vale Hall, a school full of con artists. So this sounded cool, so I picked this up too. That's one bag. And I also got a bunch of goodies, like little like pens and like things like that. So I got two of these because I, I don't remember who told me they wanted one, but I got one for them, but I don't remember who. I'm a mess. Okay, so I got My Life as an Ice Cream Sandwich by Evie's a Boy. So I got two copies of this. Um, I have to give it to somebody. I don't remember who wanted it, but I wanted to make sure I got one for them. Um, then I got in this line for the sequel to Girls Made of Paper and Fire. So this is Girls Made of Storm and Shadow. Um, it doesn't have a cover yet, but it's by Natasha Nagin, I'm pretty sure. I also got this signed, which is cool. I haven't read the first one, but I'm probably gonna go buy it because I've been meaning to read it. And then we we like found a really short line for it, like because I was we were there early, um, and it was just there. And I'm like, okay. So I got that. I got Slay by Brittany Morris, which I also think sounds really cool. Um, this one is Screen Tests. This is one that I got signed to. Um, we got this contemporary, light contemporary story. I'm so tired. Um, I also got Some Places More Than Others by Renee Watson. Um, I got this one pin that I like. It says Read to Resist. It's not gonna focus, but I got that. I got some bookmarks. I got this pen that says, yes, way rosé. <laughs> I thought that was cute. Um, 
What else did I get? I got this pride like scarf thing. I'm gonna give it to my best friend. Handed me slime. I don't know why I took it. The hummingbird, the hummingbird dagger by Cindy something. This is a little sampler. I really appreciate all this, by the way. If it looks like I'm on appreciation, it's because I'm tired and I've been running around. Um, a sticker, I got a crystal fluorite. Then I got, these were from Tor, so Stormrise. Sisters of Shadow and Light. Uh, the Infinite Noise. And Sparrow and A Thousand Fires, so. This is, yeah, I got some business cards from people, from companies and stuff. This was um, the Tortine bag that I got. Um, this was a bag I got the other day. Oh, I got a pen too. It's the Frankly in Love with Books. It's like that new, but it looks like the book cover for that new book that's out or that they're handing out ours for. I guess the same font and style and stuff. But this was another tote bag that they I got yesterday actually, or no, Wednesday. And this is by Quirk Books. So I got this too. So yeah, there's um, a book to meet up and bar thing later. I wanna go to the booktube meetup, I think. Like I've met everyone and like talked to most people. Like I've met most people and talked to most people, booktuber like wise and people that I really want to see. So I don't, like I don't have to go. And I kinda wanna, you know, just lay here, but like I should go. <laughs> Cause I know once I get back, I mean, I'll be like, fuck, why didn't I hang out with them? But I don't know, I, there's been a lot of social stuff and I'm very much an introvert. So I'm like trying to like, be okay with the fact that I'm constantly surrounded by people because like I don't thrive off of that energy um like it drains me a bit like I enjoy it but it drains me so we're gonna do that probably I don't know if they'll let me in the bar because illegally you have to be 21 here to drink and I'm 17 so I don't know if they will let me in but I can't drink or what so we'll see um, I think I'm gonna chill here for a bit and then grab food and then we'll be on our way to whatever the, f what the, whatever is next. I don't know who I'm gonna be with, who I'm gonna be hanging out with or what. It's my boyfriend's birthday today, so I want to wish him a happy birthday on this vlog. He's turning 20. So, happy birthday, baby. Love you lots. Um, I'm really happy for him. I wish I was back home for his birthday, but like I really want to go to this event. Um, and we celebrated beforehand, not that it matters, but yeah, so happy birthday.
Spencer's fan. Hi. 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 Hi.